Welcome to the Patient Assessment Trauma Skill Station. In this skill, you will have 10 minutes to perform your assessment and voice treat all conditions and injuries that you find. Just as you would in the field, conduct this assessment communicating with the simulated patient. If you need to, you may remove the patient's clothing down to their shorts so that you can better assess them. Specific clinical information not obtained through visual or physical inspection, for example, blood pressure, will be given to you only when you ask, following a demonstration of how you would obtain the information in the field. You will have two partners available to assist you that are trained to the same level of care that you are. They will correctly perform the verbal treatments that you ask for. I will acknowledge your treatments and may ask for additional clarification if needed. Do you have any questions? I do not. You respond to a report of a high-speed T-bone collision between two mid-sized cars. Your patient is a 28-year-old female who was removed by bystanders prior to your arrival. She is lying on the pavement when you, when you arrive. BSIP, my scene is safe. Uh, mechanism of injury is a motor vehicle accident. Number of patients I have here is one patient. Um, I'm going to go ahead and request for more EMS help and I can cancel if needed. Uh, due to the mechanism of injury and a motor vehicle accident, I'm going to put, the, put this patient in C-spine precautions and I'll have one of my partners hold a manual inline stabilization of the head and neck. My general impression of this patient is a motor vehicle accident with possible multi-system trauma. Um, the level of consciousness, uh, ma'am, ma'am, can you hear me? Okay, so response to pain. Um, and so chief complaint um, would be possible multi-system trauma. Uh, I'm gonna go down ABCs, so airway. Um, I'm gonna look, listen, feel. Um, do I see any um, secretions or obstructions in her airway? No secretions, her airway is open. All right, so her airway is uh, patent, uh, breathing. Uh, I'm gonna visually look at the chest, the chest rise and fall, but I'm also gonna listen to breath sounds. The patient is breathing at 24 times per minute and it is shallow. Okay, and um, I'm gonna go ahead and place an oral adjunct and in, in um, can I also get an SPO2? The SPO2 is 92%. Okay, and place her on with a non-rebreather with uh, high flow oxygen. Uh, circulation, I wanna go ahead and uh, check for Radio pulses? Her pulse is 112 beats per minute. And skin? Her skin is pale and cool. Okay. Due to um, these, uh, the, her breathing, uh, the mechanism of injury, and the uh, mechanism of this accident, um, I have been request this is a priority transport. Um, I want to get a full set of vital signs. I would assign one of my partners to get a blood pressure, um, breaths per minute. Uh, get a pulse again, and also get um, uh, SpO2. The blood pressure is 92 over 64. Her pulse is 112 beats per minute. She is satting at 94% with the oxygen that you're administering, and her respiratory rate is 22 breaths per minute. Okay. Uh, due to her level of consciousness, I cannot obtain a sample history. So at this time, I'm going to go ahead and, and run through a uh, head to toe. Uh, while doing that head to toe, I was also expose my patient and uh, check for any possible injuries. So I'm going to start here, the forehead, checking the skull, check around the back of the head. Um, do I feel anything or any, see any uh, abnormalities? No, you okay. know no abnormalities. Okay, I'm going to also check around cheekbones, eye sockets, and check the eyes, check the pupils for responsiveness. Uh, pupils are equal and reactive. You know venous bleeding to her right cheek. Okay. Checking the ears for any secretions. No secretions. Okay. I'm going to reach behind and feel her uh, cervical spine. No deformities. Noted. Okay. Uh, just checking the neck. Do I see any uh, jugular vein distension? No jugular vein distension and her trachea is midline. Okay. Um, checking her down, feeling her shoulders. I'm going to palpate, you know, palpate her chest. It's normal. Okay, do no I, crepitus. no crepitus, I don't 
and her breathing is bilateral, chest rise and fall? Yes. Okay. I'm going to palpate her abdomen. Her abdomen is soft. No trauma is noted. Okay. And uh, with her pelvis? Pelvis is stable. Uh, I'm going to go down each individual leg and palpate each leg, checking for blood as I go along and crepitus. Any abnormalities? Nothing noted on the right side. Okay, as I get down, I'm gonna check pedal pulses. You have pedal pulses present. In both okay, legs. I'm gonna work myself up as I go up. I'm gonna expose the leg and I'm gonna check again for any blood, any crepitus, anything. You note know swelling on the on her left femur. Okay. And the leg is short. Okay. Is there any rotation? There's no rotation. Correct. Okay. And it's midline. That is correct. Okay. Due to the uh, nature of that, I have a possible femur fracture, and um, since there is no uh, crepitus in her pelvis, that um, I can, we can move along with a traction split, um, long bone for a long bone injury. So I'd have one of my partners go ahead and place a traction split on the patient. Um, I'm going to go ahead and come back up to the arms. Check those really quick. Right arm is normal. Okay. Checking. And the left arm is normal. Okay. All right. So I want to go ahead and then come back, manage any of the secondary injuries. Um, I want to reevaluate the traction splint. I want to bandage up those uh, venous bleeding that was on her uh, on her head, and uh, just basically monitor uh, vital signs. And I want to. Uh, get my patient ready for transport. So I'll go ahead and place her on a, um, on a backboard. And I need to evaluate the spine as well. Let me do that, so. We're gonna go ahead and roll her towards myself. Any crepitus, any deformities? No crepitus, no deformities. Okay, no. so we'll slide over and on heads count. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay. And so got her on the backboard. We want to reassess CMS once we get her all uh, packaged up. Such vitals. 